for the second period here at the Scotia County, or Scotia County, Schenectady County Hockey Facility. 0-0 between Burn Hills and South Glens Falls. Burn Hills Falls to Spa, South Glens Falls Hudson Falls, if you really want to get crazy technical. No score between either one. Shots stand at 7-6 in the Spartans' favor. Play this one the length of the ice. Can I have ice against the Bulldogs? And we'll bring it back down. 14-34 left in the second period. And we say coming into this one. 7-10 game. Winner of this one. Congratulations. You get to play action in the hole later this week. The number two seed in the tournament. Earlier tonight, LaSalle took down and ended the season of Gillil and Mahas, and they get the reward of going to Saratoga later this week. One right on Price, he'll make the save and we'll try it all again. Only three seconds off the clock there. This time draw goes down, caught amongst skates and then finally emerging and bring it out will be Lafar for the Bulldogs. He'll go down the right side and beat a defender there as he dumps in for South Glens Falls. 14-20 left to go in the period. Trying to get a shot across, blocked in front by a defender, then poked away from Dobert as he brings it back the other way. Here comes Van Lu. he'll get a shot, and his stick will be met with that of the defender in Andre Turcotte. Now we're back out in the neutral zone. Play it back in around. Dobert is there for the Bulldogs. He'll try and play it up. Van Lu has it. Now he'll be dumped on the front shot. It'll be just wide, and South Glens Falls got away with a turnover there. No Price didn't have the save, but the shot wasn't on target either. This one's going to be bumped up into the netting. And we're going to have a stop and play with 13.50 left in the period. So you can see a little bit of a different angle for us this evening. Slave to the electricity, so we got to play it from the left side of the Burnt Hills bench. This one's going to get on Price. He'll stick it away and go far side. So unfortunately, you're going to have to rely on the melodious tones of myself, Mr. Ben Myers, for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines blog. Play it out of danger and through the neutral zone. That was LaCase getting it up to Price. But they'll lose the handle. Here comes the Spartans back the other way before the hammer is dropped by Patterson. Taking it out into the neutral zone, though. Going to need a little bit of help from Price. And just, or excuse me, LaCase was the one I was trying to get that one out. Now Price will help him out. Still can't get it out of the zone. South Coast will try another way, though, as they'll play it back in and around and behind. Dobert's there. Or excuse me, Patterson was there. Now play it out through the neutral zone, and Burn Hills will keep the pressure on and dump right back in. Go back to Patterson for the Bulldogs. He'll play it off the red line itself on the side boards there to get it into the attacking third. Now it'll go back in behind, pinned in there by a couple of Bulldogs, a couple of Spartans, and eventually Burn Hills will emerge where they come up the left side. 12.50 left to go in the period. Bernhills brings it in, swing over, gets the pass across. It'll go wide and it'll come back around. Play it back in behind, trying to get the handle on the far side with Sovereign. Sovereign can't get it there, met by three Bulldogs. Bounce off of a couple, Burnhill's able to keep it in with Allen. Now they'll lose the handle though and bring it out with LaCase. LaCase will drive it in up the left hand side. He'll wind and fire and this one's going to be off target though. They go to the near side boards, 12-22 left in the period. Fire back and forth in behind on the boards. Come back out eventually. No, they're not going to be able to get it out. South Coast Falls will fire back around the boards one more time. Now we're down to 12 minutes left to go in the frame as the Spartans still struggle to try and clear their own zone. Still can't get it out, and this one's going to be actually, they're going to get the help of the netting here, and this one's going to get popped up into the mesh. And we'll have a stop and play. Spartans will get some skaters changed with 11.55 left in the period. It's a big day tomorrow. 3, 6, and 4, 5 go at it. And Wednesday, Saratoga and LaSalle. And the winner of this one gets Shenandoah. So off the boards, Burn Hills finally clear the zone. Bring it out with Van Lu. Van Lu will get one going. He'll fire one and it'll hit above and beyond the call of duty. And you'll have a couple go right in the living room. There you go, another collision right in front. The point near side board, Van Lu was the one that tried to keep it in for a second there. Excuse me, that was Van Lu. That was Allen that tried to keep it in for a second there. Van Lu was the one right in front of us. Fell on the shot and come down this near side here, but the save was made by Clark going near side boards. Still
still on the near side. Now it'll be taken away. We're having an offside here on Godfrey. Godfrey couldn't keep it in that time. So 11.15 left. We're going to have a stop and play. And that'll give us a chance to get all the equipment set up here. So we'll be back in just a moment. Back at it here at the Schenectady County Hockey Facility. I'm Ben Myers. 11.05 left in the second period of play. Still no score between South Clinton's Falls and Burn Hill. 7-10 game in this one as we go past the 11 minute mark. Shot stand at 8-6 in Burn Hill's favor. Not that 90 shot claim that we had earlier this afternoon in the LaSalle Gillard and Mahonison game. Offside here, a delayed offside for Burn Hills. They all go back and touch up. Now where everybody's ready to play as Dobert has it at the back for South Glens Falls. He'll drive it out up the left hand side, trying to get past Godfrey and does so. Can't get it to a friendly stick though, and here come the Spartans back the other way. A couple of sticks meet there, and Burn Hills finally does get the possession back. We're still onside for everybody as South Glens Falls gets a steal and dumps in. 10-22 left in the period. Skaters change in behind the play for both sides. Now we'll move near side boards back and forth, finally end up to the far side. Van Lu has it on his stick and he'll get it out of the zone. Try and play the pass across to Hart. Hart will get it over the blue line on side and here come the Spartans. A little three on two, misfire on a pass over. We go back in behind. Hart was there, had it taken away eventually by Turcotte. Turcotte turned it around and now we'll turn it back around once again and come to the near side. Atkins is ready for it. He'll get it out into the neutral ice. And if this one goes to length, it's going to be icing against South Glens Falls with 9.46 left in the second period. So Sovereign and Atkins are going to go into the circle for the faceoff. Like I said, 9.46 left to go in the period. No score yet between Vernon Hills and South Clinton's Falls in this playing game for the Section 2 tournament. Play across ice. Nobody was home for the Bulldogs. 7.30, or excuse me, 9.35 left in the period. Play it off the boards. South Clinton's Falls will hold in, though, on the far side. Doing dirty work is Turcotte and move it back in. Try to get a shot across there, but couldn't get the handle on. Now they'll have a backhand try, but it'll go wide and go high. Bounce it out into the neutral zone, left there by Rollins. Rollins will try and move it back in. Can't find anybody from his own team to get it to. And here comes Burn Hills back the other way. Two on one, chance, shot, and a save made by Price. He's hit in front of the goal. No goal, and Price made the save. Swing Gruber had the first try on that one. Faceoff comes in Bulldog Ice to Price's right hand side. Nine minutes even left to go in the period as one tries to sneak its way through. Now they'll get a shot on. This one's going to be saved by the goaltender and moved to the far side corner. Bounced away. Now the Bulldogs try and bounce off the boards to get it out. Can't do so. Backhand pass across the slot and a loose puck that was almost put in by Godfrey, but it'll be knocked to the near side instead. Flip it out of danger and eventually get it up to Atkins. Atkins will drive it up the right hand side. Loses the handle there, and here come the Spartans back the other way with eight and a half left to go in the period. Can't connect too much, the fling one towards goal, bounced in front, still loose, now Price gets a dive at it, and a score for Burn Hills. Chase Godfrey gives the Spartans a one nothing lead. Twenty-seven left in the period. We have the first goal of the game. It'll go to Burnt Hills as Chase Godfrey cleaned up a loose puck in front. So we have Annalena and Van Lu, the assists on that one. Godfrey gets his 16th of the year. Like we said, a league the all-star coming in this one. Shot will hit Price's stick and go on to the near side, or the far side as Swingruber goes in pursuit. 
We'll get one back across the slot. And Price just got to stick out and punch it out. Eight minutes to go now. Shots stand at 13 to six and Burn Hill's favorite. Number 12 though is the big one as Godfrey scores and gives the Spartans a one nothing lead. Battle for it back and behind. And the Burn Hill's goal finally pops out and Burn Hill's will try and clear their zone and do so. And South Bend falls and retain the possession as Hayes was the first one to get to it. Now we take a swing over. Tail go down. And we'll see if they get a penalty shot here. And we have a hook against South Bend's Falls. And Swing Ruber giving his case to the referee, but he will be denied the penalty shot. And we'll see, we had a little bit of extracurricular activity after the play was over. So, we'll see if anybody from Burn Hills goes in. Going into the box for. South Bend Falls is Andre Tricot. That'll be his. He's over up over 20 penalty minutes for the season. I remember they do them by minute and halves in high school hockey, so a fair amount of time in the sin bin for Mr. Turcot. 7:37 left in the period. So a minute and a half on Turcotte for the hook. They'll give Burn Hills its second power play of the game. Their first one was a little abbreviated though, only 50 seconds on the advantage back at the end of the first period. Play across the zone. Now they'll bounce it off the boards and go to Godfrey. Godfrey play back out to the point to Hart. Hart and Godfrey play a little catch. Now here comes Hart. He'll flip one towards goal and grab. will have it in behind. Bounce off the boards once again, getting the play set up. Now we're on the far side point. Play it across again to Hart one more time. He'll wind up and have a go. Hit a couple in front, still loose. And now the defense arrives on the scene to help out Price and try and get it out of the zone. They will not get it over the blue line though. And here comes the Spartans right back. Godfrey has it on his stick. He'll drive it up the left side. He'll fire a wrister on and it'll go across the mouth of the goal, but not enough of an angle on it. Get it to Godfrey one again. One more time at the top of the slot for this one of the bodies in front as the Bulldogs try and clear it out. Unable to do so, and it'll be fired back toward goal. Bounce off a defender now and go near side boards. Now we're back out at the point. Now we'll come back down in the corner, and Lind is there for Burn Hills. Move it across, play it in behind. Burn Hills trying to get something set up here. They got 36 seconds left to do so on the advantage. Grab has it. He'll flip one towards goal. Price is waiting there, and this one's actually going to bounce the goal off the peg there as Price put his skate right into the side of it. Now that one's been a little loose this period thus far, so he knocked it off the mooring there. We'll have a stoppage of 6.37 left of the period. 31 seconds left in the power play for the Spartans. Draw, one by Burn Hills, play it out to the point. Grab will keep it in, he'll put it along back and behind. Burn Hills trying to keep the possession going here with 22 seconds left on the advantage. Play cross ice, now back out to the point. Now back cross ice again, Hart has it at the point. Now we get over to Grab, Grab will fling one across. Had an open chance for a second, but couldn't get enough of the tape on it to get something towards goal in time. Price had time to slide back across and Burn Hills had to pull the ripcord and eventually South Coast Falls was able to get the cover with nine seconds left in the power play, 6.16 left in the period. Chirp and the puck is down one more time. Godfrey will move it back out to the point. Misplay there though, and Burnham's gonna lose probably the rest of this power play, but they will.